Hey guys, Buffing Gaming back today, bringing you another video for our Blueprint Weapon Series. Today we're going to cover an interesting one that was released in store today for as part of the Earth Expeditionary Force bundle here in store today at 1600 COD points. So really what this is, is uh, pretty cool. I definitely won't, probably won't be rocking it in game too much, but I really think it is a cool concept. It's definitely a, probably a multiplayer I'll be using a little bit, not in Warzone. But for multiplayer, what this basically is, is Ripley from Aliens, or also known as Aliens 2, is also some sort of... Uh, replica of what the colonial marines used in that movie as well so first off you can see the skins here we have the new trolley skin for outrider which again very very similar almost exact of what ripley is from aliens or alien 2. we have the colonial standard light machine gun of the g36 turning it into a variation of the g36 ka4 does not compute watch the flip charm the deadly stowaway calling card which is a nice uh callback there and then we have the artifact emblem as well so that's all available in store for 1600 cod points let's go ahead and back out we'll look at the weapon as well as the operator here and then jump into some gameplay for the weapon itself so go ahead and back out you see here the final design for the weapon itself again this is the colonial standard machine gun turned into a ka4 variant uh with this 100 round c mag on there as well so first off let's go ahead and back out check out the operator now obviously not a milsim type operator but i do think it is pretty cool if you're a fan of the Alien movies, uh, I do think it is pretty neat that this is a really nice callback. If you go back and watch Alien and Aliens, which is Aliens 2, plural there, is the, basically the second movie. This is exactly what Ripley wears in those films, essentially. Down to the vest and the flight suit, etc. Because I believe she is one of the pilots, I believe. I cannot recall. I haven't seen those movies in a while, but I'm probably going to go back and watch them now. But again, pretty cool skin. Um, nice little callback there to those movies and again when i first saw this skin i thought it was kind of weird looking especially with the hair on charlie but then you you put two and two together and it's definitely supposed to be ripley from the alien movies which is pr pretty nice to see back out here and we'll go to the weapon itself so again the g36 here we go ahead and look at this it's a nice little blueprint here called the colonial standard it's supposed to be some sort of futuristic colonial marine type build here so go ahead and strip it down and we have the base G36 here. Again, very similar to the Necrosis and some of the other blueprints with that low profile rail system you can see there. So the attachments on this, first off, is going to be the compensator. That's going to assist with the recoil control. The cons here being the ADS speed and aiming stability. So we'll go ahead and put that on. The barrel is going to go from the base G36 length barrel to the XRK Ultralight, which is, it turns this into the KA4. You can see that we have the quad Picatinny rails on a handguard there. This is going to assist with the ADS speed, the cons here being the bullet velocity for the weapon. So we'll go ahead and select that. Then for the optic, I'm going to go ahead and want that integral optic here, the FSS integral reflex sight. This is just a one times red dot type optic for this weapon. You can see it sits nicely into the uh, low profile rail system there looking much more like the real life design of the built-in integral optic for this weapon so we'll go ahead and put that on skip the stock gonna stay with the base stock here you can see this again light the necrosis bundle has that cheek rest on the stock itself looks much more uh i'd say better than the base g36 and so I'll, I'll compare those two in a second and then for the perk it's going to come with fully loaded on this just give you max ammo and then for the grip we're going to run the simple grip tape again for ads speed and sprint to fire speed the only con here being the aiming stability so really quick let's go ahead and we will build this weapon out of the actual g36 just using the base variant of the weapon here just to show you how those two compare so again we'll throw on the compensator the ka4 or the ultralight barrel we're going to want that fss integral optic and we'll do the base stock, fully loaded. We don't really need to put that on. And then obviously, stipple grip tape. So this is what it, the base G36 looks like with those exact same attachments. You can see, obviously, a huge difference there. And again, like I said, very similar to the Necrosis bundle and some of the other ones when it comes to the cosmetic changes. You can see there, low profile rail. We have the cheek rest, which is adjusted there on the stock. So a completely different stock on the weapon itself. So again, go ahead and back out, and I'll just show you how these two compare to each other. So you'll see here, I'll just flip between the base G36 and our Colonial Standard one we have here. So there's the base G36 with the same exact attachments, and there is the Colonial Standard blueprint for the weapon. So obviously you can see just the color changes, so go ahead and examine this. We have the color schema changes to the upper 
of the weapon and then we have the changes to the or the camouflage changes again which are the same as the upper receiver of the weapon to the c mag of the weapon we have 082 i believe that is on there and then adios written on the cheek rest of the stock and then we have obviously what is supposed to be a built-in round counter there on the left hand side of the weapon to let you know what kind of what your round capacity is or how much you fired then the integral optic again looks pretty nice there as well those are really the only changes pretty cool actual design for this now really quick if we were to do any sort of camouflage as you can see how these look it's just going to affect the upper receiver with the handguard and the magazine and if we were to put any other attachments on this weapon you can see what something like a 30 round magazine might look like on this as well looks pretty cool so there you go turn this into a nice ka4 taking off the c mag but that is the colonial standard blueprint for the g36 turning into the ka4 type sub machine or light machine gun build of this weapon from alien or aliens alien 2 so go ahead and just jump into the game with this so you see me here just using this against bots in a game here just running the weapon just to see how it handles and then obviously performance wise one thing i would say is fully loaded since you do have the 100 round c-mag on this you may not really need to run fully loaded on this uh depending on how you're playing a multiplayer i would more so recommend maybe something like a merc foregrip or even a commando foregrip on this weapon just to assist you with the recoil control not that it's too bad you can see at closer to medium range engagements obviously it is uh handles really fine and i don't think there's really too much recoil but if you're going to try to be engaging at further ranges out and also just you can see it does have quite a bit of side to side or horizontal recoil so you may be able to help with that commando foreground for that just to help sustain it at the closer to medium ranges but again very easy to control nothing too crazy very cool looking blueprint overall again just because it's a callback to the alien movies which i'm a big fan of so those are really nice uh, to see a nice callback like that definitely not any sort of milsim type of blueprint op or operator but again really cool uh blueprint overall i think it's pretty nice so let me know down below what you guys think of this weapon blueprint is this something you'll buy in store again for 1600 cod points and it does come with the operator skin turn it into ripley and then obviously the weapon here which are reviewing itself so again you'll just see me run this here now let me know down below what you think of this weapon. Also, when it comes to Season 5, it seems like Season 5 is uh, starting to be teased here going forward as we get about two, a little over two weeks away from this. I believe August 5th is the actual release date that they're hinting at so far. So we haven't seen an actual roadmap yet, and I wouldn't expect us to probably until later next week at some point. But it seems like a lot of uh, teaser clips have been released or tripled out this past week itself, and we do have some leaks also. So I know we've been discussing this in the Discord, so if you're interested in joining the Discord or even follow me on twitter or instagram those links are down below you can join the discord channel and chime in there as well so some of the leaks for weapons we've been over a little bit in the past i'm going to do a wish list going forward as well as some weapon a video of weapons that should be in call of duty modern warfare going forward now the weapons that we have leaked so far at least from the past two seasons we had some leftover from season four that we didn't see this time around so it's really hard to tell specifically what weapons are going to be released but First off, we had the G28, which if you guys have been following the channel, you know that's probably my favorite weapon or what could possibly be my favorite weapon going forward just because of the opportunities we have with the gunsmith. Turning that into essentially from the G28 to an HK-417 Assaulter or even an HK-416 if they give us the ammo conversion and obviously we need a fully automatic perk for that weapon as well. Also, it has the possibility to turn it into an M27 IAR, which is a light machine gun. Uh, which is supposed to replace the M249 saw, but again, who knows if that's actually going to happen because it only does fire, I believe, a 30 or a 40 round magazine on that, which is much less ammo capacity than something like a 100 round to a 200 round belt that the M249 or other light machine guns fire. But again, the G28 possibly make it into three, possibly four different weapons there if they give us the right attachments for it, which would be really cool to see. The other big leaks we're seeing are the Crytek 2000 or the Intervention from Modern Warfare 2. I can't remember if it was in Modern Warfare 3 or not, but again, that's a, another large caliber sniper rifle, which we would see, which I'm not sure if that would be released right away this season. So we just got the Rytek or the M82 here in Season 4. So that would be two snipers in a row. I think possibly that's something that could come later in Season 5, maybe. We'll have to wait and see what they do with that. Another one that I've heard is the AN94 and as well as the spaz 12 have been found in the game file so 
A N ninety four makes sense if they're going to be leaking uh, or doing in game events for the new upcoming Black Ops game or whatever Call of Duty twenty twenty is going to be. So I think the AN-94 would be cool. Again, that's a prototype weapon. It never really made it past the prototype phase. But again, since it is such so prominent in the Black Ops 2, and I believe some of the Black Ops 3, and it did make an appearance in Black Ops 4, the AN-94, um, that would make sense. Personally, not a fan of that weapon. Have to see how it handles in-game if they actually do add it. But I would personally rather see something like an AK-107 or a 108 or even an AK-12 or 15 actually added to the game. If they're going to go that route. But again, we'll get into that with weapon, weapons that should be in the game. Going forward, I have some ideas. Instead of adding weapons, how to just make different weapons like that with attachments. So I'll be covering that in a separate video. And then obviously the other weapon I said was the Spaz-12. So again, that's just a shotgun. Probably one of the most famous shotguns or the most renowned shotguns that everyone knows of in the world being the Spaz-12. And I believe that's been in other... Uh, maybe Black Ops, I believe it was in the Black Ops series as well, so if they're going to be revealing Black Ops or whatever Call of Duty 2020 is, and it is Black Ops, the N94 and the Spaz-12 would make sense. So again, then we get an actual Modern Warfare type throwback weapon being the Crytek Intervention, possibly. So we'll have to stay tuned and see, I'm sure we'll be getting a roadmap like I said next week. Let me know down below what you guys think of this blueprint for the Colonial Standard of the Colonial Expeditionary Force blueprint bundle in store again for 1600 card points. Let me know what you want to see in Season 5. We're running down, if the time's running out here in Season 4. Let me know if there's anything else you're hoping to see in Season 4. But again, blueprints, uh, weapon blueprints, operators, milsim stuff. What do you want to see in Season 5 and even beyond? Leave your comments down below what kind of weapons you want to see added. I do have some feedback that I've taken from you guys, so I'll be putting all that in the video as far as weapons that we'd like to see added to the game going forward. But I'll leave you guys with the gameplay for this. This is Buckner Gaming with the Colonial Standard Blueprint for the G36. Until next time, Buckner Gaming, out. We are Bingo Fuel heading back to base. Stand down, Lance. I've had enough for one day.